I'm going to show you how I use VoiceThread image curation assignments paired with Canvas discussions to give students choices in their learning and make real world connections. The example I'm going to show is going to show uh, Module 3 and Module 4. So let's go into Module 3 and this is just a part of Module 3. Towards the end of the module, the students are given an assignment to curate a carte de visite collection. This is a VoiceThread curation assignment. I'm going to click there and open the assignment up. The assignment page includes the due date, a little bit of information about how carte de visites relate to a current module, the objective for the assignment, and the instructions. So here they are instructed to select a carte de visite, which is a type of old photograph uh, that has not already been added to the voice thread by another student. And to do that, they're going to go out to the Getty Museum photography collection page. I have a, a video here, a three minute video that walks them through what they're supposed to do so they can see a visual of it and it instructs them how to download, to, to locate an image and download it to their computer. And then they're going to upload the carte de visite image or the file into the voice thread and leave one voice or video comment that includes the following things. So I've got specific criteria here for them to include in their comment. Um, this step is for anyone who's, who needs extra help uploading the image from a computer. The students at this point have already done this two or three times, so this is a little bit redundant, um, but it is here just to support students who might need it. And then down here are the steps to do to upload the image into the voice thread if they're using uh, their phone. There's a wonderful free voice thread mobile app that students have access to. And so for students who rely on that phone for um, for the course, they can simply follow these steps and it works the same way. And then at the bottom we have the grading rubric. So what the students would do now is simply click the button at the bottom and then the voice thread would open and they'd follow the, the instructions to upload um, their file. I'm going to take you back out into modules and show you how this works in the following module. So again, that was module three. They add their image in this assignment here and then when we get into module four, one of the first things they do is the review and reflect assignment. So I'll click there. Um, again, similar design to the page. We have the instructions. Their instructions are to review 15 slides and comments in the Our Carte de Visite collection voice thread. And as they view and listen, keep the following questions in mind. Take notes in response to the questions. In your notes, write down the names of your peers whose image and comment resonated with you. You will mention their names and discuss their images in the discussion. So one of the questions is, who are the subjects in the carte de visites? Theorize about why these individuals may have wanted their likeness distributed through carte de visites. And again, we have the instructions from a computer and the instructions from a mo mobile device. So I'm going to click here. This is exactly what the students would do. And they're taken um, to the first image in the voice thread. To view all of the images, they are prompted in the instructions to click on the postcard icon in the lower right corner. And then you can see a view of all the images that the students have uploaded. So their instruction is to uh, select 15 of them, take again, keeping those prompts in mind. And um, when they open an image, they simply click on this icon to listen to the student comment. And this is my response here. Let's take a listen. This particular album in silver print is called Sarah Bernhardt as the Empress Theodora in Sardo Sardu's Theodora. The artist is Nidar, also known as Gaspard Felix Turnachen. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Uh, the negative was created in 1884 in Paris, France. It was printed in Mountain in about 1889. Sarah Bernhardt is a French stage actress who starred in many popular plays in the late 19th, early 20th century. She also played some male roles, roles like that of Shakespeare's Hamlet. She toured around the world and was one of the first prominent actresses to make sound recordings and act in motion pictures. 
I like that this particular picture showed more emotion and action than any other um, of the pictures I viewed in this particular time period. Hi there. Thanks for sharing this very cool carte de visite. I wanted to point out that the photographer you noted, uh, Nadar, is the photographer that you learn about in module uh, four, where you're learning about the Impressionists, those artists who are, those painters who are really creating upheaval in Paris in the 1870s. And it was Nadar who hosted um, that first exhibit exhibition of their paintings in Paris because they had nowhere else to show them because everyone thought their work was so atrocious. Um, very cool image and it's really neat to see the background, the elaborate background in his studio. Thanks for sharing. Okay, I'm going to go back over to Canvas and go back to that modules area one more time. So again, module four is where the review and reflect assignment is. And then following that is their social influencers discussion. So this is a Canvas discussion. And if we open this up, you'll see their assignment here. Or their objective is to critically evaluate the relationship between carte de visites and current day uses of social media. So I remind them before they participate here, they need to complete the review and reflect assignment. Using your notes from that assignment, write a post that is two to three hundred words that responds to the prompt below. So the prompt is, in what ways are 19th century carte de visite similar to today's use of social media? In your discussion, cite at least two carte de visites shared in the collection and at least one specific example from social media to support your position. View the rubric for the assignment to be sure you understand the criteria I will use to grade your responses. When you're ready to make your initial response, type your response in the reply field below these instructions. Your initial response is due by Thursday at 11.59 and then they have instructions for their replies as well. Um, so, and then the, the assignment, the discussion flows down below just like any other Canvas discussion. And that's how I use VoiceThread curation assignments with Canvas discussions to give students choice and encourage them to make real world connections.